Hey friends, welcome back to the shop. This week we are tackling a very small but hopefully extremely beneficial modification to our Forerunner. Now, if you've been a friend of the channel for a while, you've seen some of the upgrades that we've done to the Forerunner itself, and one of those was the Big Three, Big Four power upgrade, really trying to capitalize out of every bit of power that we can since we are running a lot of external lights. We've just recently upgraded to a fridge-freezer combo for our longer off-roading and overlanding trips. So I'm always trying to look for ways to get more out of the vehicle without having to invest in an extreme amount of money. Now, one of those things that we did a little bit earlier on was actually upgrade the battery to an AGM battery. Now, unbeknownst to me when I purchased that, that our stock alternator systems really do not put out as much charging power as the manufacturers of the AGM batteries really recommend, which is anywhere from 14.5 to 14.7 volts. My charging system right now keeps the battery running or keeps the battery right at about 13.7, 13.8, which I'll show you. So what we did is I purchased a booster diode from Voltage Booster Pro. They are located in Texas and this was actually a brainchild from Brian, the owner of the company, after he was looking for opportunities to be able to increase it but also do it safely and this is what he created. So after seeing a number of other purchasers give feedback, uh, they've sold hundreds of these and I felt safe enough to go ahead and add it to mine, so we went ahead and picked one up. So we're gonna go ahead and install that today. It is extremely small. It'll go right into the fuse box and the replacement of a fuse. So we'll go ahead and walk through where it goes, what our current power is once the vehicle is running and charging, and then what the differences are when we have this set on low and then also what we have this set on high because there are two different settings based upon your particular needs. So let's go ahead and get this in and see if we can actually see an improvement from it. All right, let's see what we're registering. a little bit higher than usual so that's good so 13.95 we'll use that as a reference a baseline when we put the voltage booster pro in now this is the voltage booster pro now they have two different kinds one for uh, old school fifth gens 2010 to 2019 and then one from 2020 to 2021 You'll see here to the side there is a low high switch and then the fuse that we're going to remove is actually going to go in this slot there so we never lose the fuse protection of it thankfully. The fuse that we're going to be pulling out will be this seven and a half right there. So you can get your fuse puller, needle nose pliers, uh, little baby fingers, whatever you need to actually pull that out so we can go ahead and replace it with the upgrade. Voltage booster, got our fuse. There we go. All right, all seated in. Now let's go ahead and replace it. go 
We're gonna put this on low first, see kind of where we stand with that inserted in. Fourteen point four three. Very nice. So that's on low. All right. Now they do recommend that you not switch from low to high while the vehicle is running. So we'll turn it off and then switch it over to high to see what the difference is. All right, that'll wrap up a, another quick and very, very easy modification to the 4Runner. Now they do suggest that about 90% of the time you're likely only need to keep it in low setting. Uh, maybe during colder months or heavy use where you may, may need to end up switching it over to high. So we'll keep an eye on it when we take it out uh, at the end of the month for our next over the weekend outing see how it looks i've got a voltage meter there inside the vehicle that i'll be able to keep an eye on it and see really how how things look once we actually put it a little bit more under load but i'll go ahead and place the link to this in the description if you want to take a look at their website look at their products and purchase one for yourself thanks again for stopping by we certainly appreciate you watching this video so until next week take care stay safe we'll see you soon Bye.